and now we have a video editing model in just 5 billion parameter size. Lucy Edit Dev is an open weight instruction guided video editing model that enables precise free text driven modification to existing video content without requiring any mask, any keyframe or fine tuning. In this video, we are going to install Lucy Edit on our local system and we will be editing few videos to see how exactly this works. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. So what exactly is this Lucy Edit internally? I will be talking a bit more about it but let me give you a very very quick snapshot. So this model is built on top of WAN 2.25 billion architecture. If you have been looking or using video models which is the next frontier, I can tell you that WAN models in video modality are one of the best but still long long way to go for perfection or decent performance but still in open source open weight WAN is one of the leaders and this model Lucy Edit is built on top of it. It integrates a high compression variational autoencoder and a powerful diffusion transformer backbone. And that is how it can maintain its temporal coherence, which is crucial and critical for video modality. Okay, now let's get it installed and we will see how it works. I am going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card, NVIDIA, RT, NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM. I am creating a virtual environment with Konda. And if you are looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very, very affordable price, you can find the link to mass compute in video description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Okay, let's go back. That is done. Let me also install all the prerequisites from the root of the uh, my home page or directory where I am putting the code. And meanwhile, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent, which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application that empowers you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce. Okay, let's go back to our terminal to see what is happening. And everything is installed. Now what I have done, I have just got this Python app.py which I have created from the code which they have provided in the model card and I will drop the link to it in video description so that you can simply copy paste it uh, from the card and then run it. The only change which I have made in this code is that I have put on a Gradio interface on top of it. That's pretty much it. So let me run this. And the first time when you run it, it downloads the model and it is going to also download the WAN 2.2 model. So let's wait. And the model is now downloaded and running on our local system. Let me open it in the browser. And there you go. So Lucy edit is now running. Let me um, give it one of the videos and try to edit it with a text prompt. So this is an AI generated video of two kangaroos punching each other or just doing sparring. I'm just going to ask it to change the skin color of kangaroos to silver with natural highlights, subtle root shadowing and lot of other stuff. So I'm just trying to make this prompt as good as possible. There are a few advanced settings which you can set, but let's leave them and let's click on edit video. So the video is being edited. Let's check the VRAM consumption. The model is fully loaded onto the GPU and it is just over 28 gig. Let's wait for it to finish and then we will check how exactly it has performed. Meanwhile, maybe allow me to quickly talk a bit more about the architecture because I think they have done something really good here. So the model is just 5 billion parameter and that scale strikes a balance between edit fidelity and practical deployment. So 5 billion video model, you can edit it. How good is that? And I think that comes from um, its special composition where it is also handling camera trajectory and trying to preserve the original motion dynamics. And if you, um, so you are, if you want to just change clothing, you want to change skin color, hair color, 
lot of things can be done um, but again i very curious to see performance in terms of quality there you go and you see as i was talking in real time it has done it it is glowing if you look at my prompt it says glossy appearance appearance is glossy it has also got some interaction some lightning is coming uh, lighting is coming the there is a soft sheen there which i asked it to do and i also asked it to do some various silver shades you see there are various shades of silver okay let's try out maybe another one i'm just going to load another uh this time i am just again every video is an ai generated one let me try to change the hair color here so i am asking the model to change the hair color to rich auburn with natural highlights subtle root shadowing and then lot of other things also varied shades from deep mahogany to warm copper realistic cool gradation and lot of other things so let's see how it goes and i have found out this with van 2.2 model especially that the more your prompt is rich and grounded the better the performance is so make sure that you try to spend some time on your prompting as it really really enhances the quality of the model okay let's wait for it let's quickly have a, another peek at the vram consumption it has jumped to over close to 39 which is the max And there you go it has done it let me first play the original one again it's a eight second video and this one which it has created it has done the auburn color but it is just three seconds it has captured everything which we asked it to do so what do you think okay now let's try out one more i'm just going to give it my own video and in this video i'm just speaking on the camera now you can not only edit things you can also add things so i'm asking it to add a colorful scarlet macao parrot perched on the man's left shoulder bright red and blue wing feathers with yellow accents curved black beak intelligent dark eyes talons gripping fabric naturally long tail feather extending so all the description of the parrot so let's see what it generates and there you go let me first play this original one so it's a half a minute video where i'm just speaking looking at the camera nothing else is happening so i'm just going to pause it let's play this one there you go so parrot appears and then disappears so it's not perfect but it is doing quite a good job and it is a macau and it has perfectly described the macau as i asked it to do it doesn't stay there for long maybe due to my hand maybe i will just say it perched on man's i'll just say head because you know my head i think that should be better let's see let me regenerate it and now the parrot is on my head you already have seen the original one let's try this one so you see now because my hand is away it is doing quite a awesome job i guess it is actually quite quite interesting looks great and as i move the parrot moves very nice so look i'm very impressed by the model let me know what do you think uh, there are a lot of other things which you can do in terms of it still um, but mainly it is around adding and removing objects and if you want to make like you know person wearing something you can also do that something like this where i have just asked to put sunglasses on this man there you go how good is this of course there are some you know uh, slight variations but i think it has done a pretty good job that's it please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member and if you're interested in other van models i have covered all of them in great detail from various angles thank you for all the support